Pa! Mm -hmm. We are uh, no longer in Alabama. There's abandoned boats. There's little things that I'm not even gonna name, but I almost stepped on something barefooted that could have changed my life. You're not gonna name it? Should I name it? People are gonna be really curious. So I had to, I had to take a little lunker log drop. Uh -huh. So I go into the woods to, to do my business, right? I'm coming out and I didn't bring flip flops. Oh man, that was my eyeball. Sorry, brother. It's all good, I still got it. All I have is these and my heel is hanging out. I'd like to reiterate what you just said. You did not bring flip flops to Florida in the summertime. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm just shocked because I thought- Look, I wanted to, I just, sure I went, have. I broke mine. Yeah, but I, you had a pair at my house like a week ago or two. Well. I room for my dog to go chase. Anyways, so I'm coming out of the woods after doing my business and my heel is like flopping out of my shoe comes an inch from a needle. Oh my God. A needle. Sunken boats, lots of needles. Jeez. If you hadn't guessed it already, We've made it to Florida, folks. Me and Lojo decided it'd be a cool idea to go on a trip together, not as working for one another, not as boss to employee, but as bro to bro. Bro to bro. Bro to bro. And we have made it to the St. John's River. Anytime we're going to Florida, we always say we should fish St. John's River. St. John's River. Because <laughs> there's always these stories of like huge bass getting caught out of here. And there's also like redfish right. and giant alligator. It's just, right. it's just a really weird place where you could you could see and catch a lot of different things in one day. So I, I could be wrong, you can fact check this, but I believe the St. Johns River is the biggest river system in Florida. That sounds right. Yeah, sounds I ca good. Can you name another river in Florida? No, I can't. I can't either. So that's gotta be the biggest. It's the most well known, yeah. for sure. The crazy thing about this river is there's like this combination of freshwater fish and saltwater fish. It's this brackish type water, but we're an hour from the coast. So where we're putting in today, we have the potential to catch monstrous largemouth bass. There's also the striper that are in fresh and salt. There's gonna be potential to catch tarpon get That's up right. in here. That's right. We've been talking to guides who have caught like 80 pound tarpon an hour from the coast. It's day one of this Florida send. We're gonna be down here for the next few days just filming as much content as possible. And there's some big things coming that I'll announce towards the end of the video. All right, enough talking, enough shenanigans. Let's dip in and find some fat Sally's. Got an inchworm crawling. Good luck if it doesn't make it to the top of your head. Don't do me dirty. <laughs> I was worried it was gonna be like the, the hooch where we live, you know? Yep. Where you just, there's no contour, it's just, well, <laughs> figure Good it night, out. Boys. Yeah. <laughs> might be shallow, might be deep, I don't know. Just, <laughs> just figure it out. Free swinging. Heard some beeping. Will the Garmin work today? Oh, oh. she's on. Oh. Woo. It's such a good feeling. Pulled up to the first current break we found. We actually were given this point by a local guide. Goes by the name Scooter. Big shout out to Scooter. He freaking hooked Be it up. One of the coolest guys we've been on the water with. Your typical Central Florida. Can't talk right now. Just your typical Central Florida. Good. Yeah, I, I, I have a speech impediment. And I'm trying to be a YouTuber, so no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I am that not. That ain't the combo. Speech impediment, YouTuber to talk about. <laughs> Dude, every cast, man, you just, you don't know what you're going to hook into. It's my favorite thing about fishing down here in Florida. 
You know, I probably should spend a little time fishing this just for that reason, you know? These That's freaking it. redfish and stuff. I was I was torn between, ooh, man, there's some structure and rock down there. Oh, gore. Oh, bass, those are bass for sure. Crank through there, buddy. You're good. <laughs> yeah, gore, my <laughs> gore, that sounded like a bucket, buddy. <laughs> gore don't have buckets. That was a brick hitting the water. <laughs> it was an eight Jeez. pounder. Been here three <laughs> minutes of this largey <laughs> jumping in the boat. I'll get you closer, man. I just uh, I stopped out here so we didn't make a big ruckus. No, that's good, man. Keep in mind that tail walking son of a gun is gonna rip through here and does not care about our children. Keep in mind that tail walker. You come through about five minutes and kill both of us. <laughs> <laughs> so enjoy it while it lasts, buddy. That man gives zero offs. He will ramp us off our boat, kill us, and keep tail walking. Just keep going. Man, there's structure down there, dog. Oh, how is it? Oh, that's a nice fish. I don't even know what it is. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's a large one. Okay. There we go. Start the trip Dude. out right, brother. Well, on the board, man. Dude, that was a crazy bite. I'm going to tell you all about it in just a second. That was kind of a really unique bite because of how I was working the lure. It's not even a big fish, but, you know. I made a super, like, sketchy cast, like, you know, right inside of that little <laughs> thing right there. I mean, my line was probably touching the wood pylon with this little uh, swim bait head that we just got, by the way. We Maybe. stopped at the store and bought like three. Clutch Walmart stop. Dude. Well, just because we figured, you know, like this could catch anything. You could catch a redfish, catch a bass, could catch anything. But, so I was reeling and I hit the pylon with the bait and I stopped and let it pause it, let it dive. Yep. And it just Shad imitation, Killed man. it, man. That could be the move. Do you want to live well? Let's live well our best five or okay. three or Let's whatever. Well, here's this a two pounder right here. Let's get freaking back in the game, dude. Jesus Christ, start chucking, man. I stepped on a ride, barefooted. Yeah, I stepped on like eight trebles today. <laughs> there is a boat coming. Here you go, buddy. Woo! Have to respect you, selfish frick. You were right. <laughs> Dude, I told totally you. We're just far enough out of the channel. To We're about high, but... 10 foot away from Ooh. imminent death. Oh my gosh. Okay, We're We're fine, man. I'm not panicking. Just ran to the front of the boat like it made a difference. I was wondering what you were <laughs> Just didn't want us to flip backwards. I was fine with that horizontal flip, just not vertical. Yeah, tell them what, tell them what you just, what we just talked about like 30 seconds ago. I've, <laughs> I'll get us in a better spot. I'll, I'll roll the clip, but I literally just told Lojo. Tell your kids you love them because we, we ain't coming home. <laughs> tail walker boys are coming through. Keep in mind that tail walking son of a gun is gonna rip through here and does not care about our children. Uh, he, he felt bad. I Get could him, see it in his face. Him. Yeah. Well, you didn't see it. This is how you really hit the ball. So uh, if you ever come through a bridge, yeah. I mean, you might not want to hit that guy going 70. Right. Get us like a half a half on plan. Yeah, right? hit, hit me hit me 35. I might not die immediately. That's the thing that you know fish are gonna relate to stuff like this. Any time of the year, any kind of fish, they're gonna relate. There's just just huge structure. <laughs> All this cash on me. Man, that guy was rolling. Yeah, he was. Like hard rolling. Should we be like just working walking baits and poppers across this freaking opening right now? I was now, thinking what? about it. I like, was. Geez. Oh my. Those are bass. Those are I bass saw them. Chasing. Oh my gosh. Make sure we're not going to get T boned here. <laughs> I'm like nervous. <laughs> Dude, those were big fish, yeah, man. Were. Those were like a school of tens. Yeah, those are big. I'm not even like no, exaggerating. No, no, no. Those are gigantic. Gosh, that looked just stupid, dude. There's like a kid with a bag full of bricks. Yeah, I'm stopping <laughs> from outer space. <laughs> I almost took cover. Like there was clearly like 10 of them, 15 of them. So 
So we caught the first fish of the day in what we like to call a current break. And this is a current break that covers the entire span of the St. John's River. Right smack in the middle of the river, you have this, what, what is this, a drawbridge? I guess for trains. So yeah. I don't know if it's still active it's, or not. It's so. a CSX, so, and there's railroad tracks, so it's definitely a little train yeah. drawbridge. But right in the middle, you have a massive cement pillar, and then you also have all this wood putting a ton of structure ton of places for bait to get in and we're just imitating shad and little wormy squirmies little shaky snakes down there i love a good shaky snake dude it's it's so crazy down here in florida how many different species are just constantly feeding just waiting to get caught yeah that's, oh that was dirty yeah, too not the one you want to get fouled up go up there go up there no 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 sorry hey stop 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 <laughs> <laughs> Trying to maintain close to bottom contact. Actually, there's only eight feet here, so it might even be like five or six right there. Ooh. You feel it? Get bit? I got yoinked. I think they have kind of a reputation to be nibblers sometimes. Oh. oh! How sick would that have been? I just started reeling, it was super heavy. <laughs> what I, the freak? Mine was like, boop, boop. Yeah, we haven't cast it that way at all. That was not it, buddy. Fish? Adam? I'm on. How'd you feel? Um, I can't tell. Don't seem too excited about he's him. fighting weird, man. I just, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Striper potentially bash. No, it's, it's a nice one. Two pounder. Get in the net, dude. First Florida bass, dude. Nice, dude, we have figured him out, man. Yeah, I think the the swim bait change was the best move we've made all day. Look how he ate it, man. I know. I was, I was hoping you were going to, uh, dude, that show is that incredible. That's, like that's how you would take a picture of that and put it in the magazine. Yeah. Like, that's how you want him to eat. A swim bait. So we have been fishing literally everything we had in the boat. Deep cranking, lipless crankbaits. Wormy squirmies. Wormy, shaky Shakies. snakes. Turns out all these Florida brackish water bass want. Swim head jig, saucy swimmer. Saucy. It's hard to beat, man. That was cool kind of fish. Was that a weird bite or was that just me? No, dude. I was like reeling and I didn't know what was going on. I thought I had like a striper or a yeah. catfish or something. Check this guy's eyeball out, man. You got dead eye on us? Oh wow. That, I've heck? never seen one rotted it's, out. It's that like bad. gone. There's no eyeball yeah, even there. Something at all. ate that guy's eyeball. You gonna live well him? Live well him. Typically, me and Lojo do not catch two fish on public bodies of water we've never <laughs> been to. That are not six inches. Hey, typically we don't catch two on our home body of water. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah. Dude, I was barely working that thing. I was like just inching it across the bottom. It sucks, but hey, man. Nobody wants to do it, but if you want to catch fish, boy, you better slow crank. Slow down. Slow down. And when you slow down, it because it's weird slow it down. Because we're watching fish feed on top. Yeah, I know. So it's like, what the? Gosh, that would have been so good for my morale. I'm in like when got crushed in there, man. Oh, oh, dude, I am in there. 12 foot gator. You got motor bull. Take over the bow. One of the coolest things about fishing these Florida lakes is Florida people just do some crazy stuff, man. We were cruising the river and looked over and we saw this house built on stilts. And what is that, a homemade water slide? Dude, me and you coming down this thing could go over the river, dude. The that, water's only three feet right here too, so when you land, you better land the right way. These people are a wildin', dude. This looks like where I'm gonna retire. 
I'm gonna cast up under this plane here. May have just found the next restoration project, folks. She's chilling, primed up. Shoot! Gator eats me immediately. Oh! Oh gosh, this is spooky, dude. Snakes, gators. Look at this beauty, folks. And I thought my boat was a keeper. Somebody crashed their boat right here, just turned it into the straight hangout. They put a swing in, some little half of a tree house. Oh my, oh gosh. There's no telling how long this thing's been sitting here. <laughs> Dude, if I could get this thing, I would be the coolest guy on YouTube. It's a spider web, I don't do spiders. It holds me barely. Dude, this thing is cool, man. They put like this old tree right in the middle of the back deck. It's like this really cool driftwood looking table. Dude, somebody's planning on coming back here because they put a lock on that door. They might have had people like coming up, parking their boats and like sleeping in here. Because there's like a lock and there's drinks and all footsteps and... So the inside might be like decent shape. It's not decent, but... No, it's actually stripped completely bare in there. Just scared somebody's about to jump up like- Yeah, are you sure there's not somebody in there right now? I don't know. Very nice homeless man. I, I'm hoping. He might stab you to death. Always trust old ladders, kids. Ooh, that roof's about to cave in. <laughs> Talk about the coolest boat restoration project ever. Before we came, I was reading up on some possible opportunities for receiving and and taking home some of these boats that are just scattered throughout florida i've already kind of found something that's all I'm, I'm gonna leave it for that for those of you who are excited about boat restoration we have something coming that's enough risk in my life on top of this boat i'm gonna hop back in the boat we'll see what else florida has in store for us ah. <laughs> what? Just my noises. <laughs> All right, to the OG Sally Whackers that stuck around to this point of the video, I put together a little teaser for you guys, a little 30, 40 second tease to let you guys know, just have a little glimpse into some of the most epic, just heart pounding, scrum diddly umptious clips from this Florida series that we just filmed. We caught some fat sallies. We did some epic catch and cooks and I had the most intense moment, maybe in my life, battling a gigantuous alligator. I don't wanna to blow too much, but I do wanna say thanks for sticking through this video. Sit back, relax, enjoy the tease. We have a little bit of overcast, so I'm hoping I can keep this thing towards the, towards the surface. Just have it curving really nice, and a big one's just gonna find it irresistible. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Ah. Get him. Like a tree with his stems. Like, this reminds you of. Oh gosh. Reminds me of this one time I found a, I found a bunch of spawning brim one time. <laughs> Holy smoke! Come on, Tom. What do you want me to do? Just. Be quiet. I am. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. 